Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Innovate with Karan. Today I'm going to be unboxing and doing a review of a cool product that I bought recently. So here it is. Here in this box, there's a smart wallet that comes with the GPS technology and a rechargeable battery. So now let me unbox it. Now I will open it up and see what is inside. Okay, it comes with the smart wallet. This looks like a booklet. All the instructions will be in here. And a micro USB cable. So let's have a look at the wallet. Hmm, it actually looks like a nice wallet. It's quite light. I thought it might be slightly heavy, but it's actually light. So now let's have a look inside. It looks nice. Let's have a look here. It actually looks nice. But wait, wait, where's the coin slot? There's no coin slot. How can you keep your coins in this wallet? It'll just fall out. Oh wait, there is a zipper here. Let's try that. No, that's a, there's no way I'm going to keep my coins over here. What? This is not a good thing. If you have an Android phone, you need to go to your Play Store and download this application called BSeek. Now I will click on open. It's opening. It's asking me for some permissions. I'm just going to allow, allow, allow and allow. And yes. Okay, it's asking me to turn on the locations. Now it is ready to connect to my wallet. Let me turn on my wallet. I just have to press this for 5 seconds. And now it's on. Now I will search for it on my phone. Let's see if it finds it. And it's connected. There are a few options in this app. Devices, photograph, uh, location, settings and introduction. Now I will press on this and see what happens. Wait, nothing is happening. I thought something is supposed to... Okay. The wallet is making some noise. So if you want to find your wallet, you can press that button and find this wallet. Now, if you want to find your phone with your wallet, you just have to click here twice. And that sound will tell you where your phone is. So click on the next option which is photograph and change the camera. Okay, so now let's try using the wallet to take my picture. <laughs> okay, I clicked four times and only I think three pictures are taken. Let's have a look my gallery and yep only three pictures are there fourth picture didn't get taken i wonder why i will click on location location is the reason why i bought this wallet this is what is the most important this is showing me my phone's gps location like my phone's gps is on why is it not showing my wallet's GPS? So now let me just have a look online and get back to you. This is such a horrible feature. This wallet doesn't have its own GPS. This uses the phone's GPS. You just have to press this button once and the GPS location gets sent of where you pressed it. Like for example if you parked your car, you press this, it will tell you where your car is. It's showing up over here. I'll click on that and it actually tells me where my car was when I clicked the button. My final review is this. I am actually fascinated with the technology used in this wallet. Like you can find the wallet or your phone if you are in the Bluetooth range. But I am extremely disappointed with two main features 
One is the coin slot. This wallet comes with no coin slot unless you want to keep the coins in the big zipper on top. And two, the main reason why I bought this wallet from Malaysia was because I thought it had its own GPS. But you can actually not track this wallet. It'll just tell you where it was when you press the button, but you can't track it. And that is very disappointing. Anyway, if you like this video, just head on to YouTube and like my video over there. And just subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. That will make me very happy. If you all want to purchase this wallet, which I don't think you should, I'm anyway going to put the link down in the description. Just have a look. Now, if you want to watch a video on these digital LED polarized sunglasses, click on this link. This link will show you the video. Anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful time today. Have fun. Bye. <laughs>